What's up guys? Miles back with another video. On today's video, I want to talk about perspectives. Right? That's what I want to talk about today. I've talked about this before on previous videos, but I haven't really gone into depth um like I am about like I am on this video. So, I want to give you guys a different perspective, a different way of thinking, a different way of you know, judging things and thinking about things, right? So if I look down, I got my little notes right here for this one. I normally don't have notes. I normally just go off the cuff, but for this one, I wanted to make sure I hit a couple points um, before I ramble on. So perspective, right? See, most of us know that, you know, perspective is something that can be wrong. Perspective is something that after you have you start off having one perspective as a child, but then as you get older, your perspectives begin to change. You begin to mature and to figure out, hey, my perspective back then is not a, what a good perspective was. It wasn't actually true to what that situation was, what I thought I knew back then, right? So perspective evolves. Perspective is something that you mature in right but what happens is and this is the problem with you know people in general humans in general we all think we're right for some reason we all think that we cannot be wrong we all think that we have the right answers to life but if we look at the reflections in our life it clearly reflects it clearly states for itself and our actions that we do not know everything because if we knew better, we would be doing better, right? So, perspective in today's world, or you know, it maybe in how it's always been, but currently in today's world, it's so narrow, right? People's perspectives are so narrow, right? They're not wide enough to explore different perspectives and see who's truly right and see who's truly wrong, or to see if two things can be right and one thing can be wrong, right? See, the truth about perspective is multiple things can be right at the same time. Multiple things can be wrong at the same time. Matter of fact, perspective gets so complicated that you could have some things that are spot on, right? And then you could have some things that are completely wrong in the same sentence. This is why when people talk about perspectives in reality, it's such a hard thing to grasp and digest because you literally have to hang on to every single word and break down every single word, right? And what happens is when you break, break that down like, hey, you're right on this, but you're wrong on that, people think you begin to, you're wishy-washy when in reality, you're just analyzing the perspectives as you go, right? Now, this takes time. This is not something that you get tomorrow. This is not something that you develop in a couple weeks, right? This ain't five steps to, or you get the perspective in five minutes. Like This is not that you have to literally apply this to everything in your life to fully grasp it and apply it every day, each and every day in some way, whether it be from somebody you watch or things that you read, um, to really understand it and for you to really seep down into your subconscious. Anyway, Since we know, we've broken down that perspective has multiple, there's multiple perspectives about things. This is where we go wrong. This is how school messes us up, right? See, we grow up in school. We Most of us take majority of our tests on multiple choice questions. Right, and what multiple choice questions conditions us for from kindergarten all the way up until you know our college years is that it conditions you that there's one right answer. One right answer is more right than all the other answers and that's it. So we begin to take that mentality whether we know it or not and we apply it to our own personal beliefs 
we apply it to the people that we watch, we apply it to the beliefs that we have within our own lives, whether it be political, religion, whatever it may be. You don't have to be those two. I just named those because those are the first things that came up to my mind. Right? So we think that we come up with this one itis, a way of thinking. We come up with these, okay, this has to be right. It's the only way you can do it. But actually, in the real world, life is more like the open-ended questions. Right, see, growing up, I used to love the open-ended questions more than multiple choice questions because oftentimes, if you just made sense and it correlated with what you're saying to the topic that the paper was talking about or you know what we, what we were working on whether it be math or anything as long as you made sense of it you got the credit for it now granted you might get half credit you may get you know most credit you might get a few points taken off here and there because you didn't hit a major point um, that they want you to hit but you still got credit for that right that's how life really is right but they don't want to do that the teachers don't want to do that because that's too much grading, it's too much time. They have to literally go through and figure out everybody's perspective and figure out is this one right, is that one wrong, that's too much time consuming. So it's much easier for them to put the multiple choice up, put the Scantron in the paper, put it through a little thing and it graded for them. It's way fast. Right, but once you get out into the world there's multiple ways of doing everything. There's multiple viewpoints on doing everything. You think that the only way you were taught was the only way you're going to get it, be successful in life. When in reality, there's a million ways of being successful. Just like they had that show, A Thousand Ways to Die, there's a thousand ways to be successful. There's not just one way. Now, don't get me wrong, there's things that are generalities that, you know, are, what's the right word to say, markers that most people, successful people do, but how they get to that point or how they get the money to invest those to that point or invest in those assets can be whatever. It could be from you owning your own business, you working a job, you invest in real estate first it doesn't matter it could be a thousand ways you being an athlete a musician right so you got to find out what your perspective is out of all the thousands of perspectives or thousands of ways to be successful right so question is are you thinking too narrow are you open up your mind to different perspectives of doing things have you found your few ways or one way or a couple of ways that work for you that you can multiply and do all over and that works for you and your schedule in your life so that's the question I want to leave you guys with like comment subscribe share the video if you like this content follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Miles Chumley if you like my content in general, if you like me and my content, consider donating to the channel, supporting it. Dollar sign Cash App, dollar sign Miles Chumlin. We out, guys. Change your perspective, change your life. We out.